Hello, this is Cass from Clay Cass, or AKA Clay Cass. Um, and today I wanted to share something I really just stumbled upon. I've been making, oops, over time, I have been making lots of painted papers. And I just keep making painted papers because number one, I, I love paint. Number two, I have several jelly plates and I love those. And number three, I just can't see, seem to stop making them. So, and I even have an addiction to um, scrap paper and it's bad. So, what I decided was I have to figure out a way to start using up the paper that I have started to accumulate because I'm starting to accumulate too much paper. I have the audacity to buy in the month of July two packages of paper and then I went to my storage unit only to find out that I had maybe four or five packages of paper there that I have totally forgotten about. So I have to stop buying paper and stop painting paper or it's okay to paint paper because when I paint paper I sometimes take paper that has already been used for something and I um, paint it up. Matter of fact this was an attendance sheet record that they discontinued and I was like oh look I can use it and initially I used this in my classroom but then um, I uh, ended up having extra, had it at home and painted on it. So, these are my painted papers. And so, what I stumbled upon was this button envelope. It's been beat up, stepped on, whatever. And I was like, painted papers. I could use this envelope with my painted papers. So, since I had this cute little envelope, I very patiently opened it up and found me a cardboard box that I had and made myself a template. I don't know if you can read that. But I even wrote on the template, envelope template, top, bottom, just so that if at any point I kind of forgot, I would be able to um, quickly remember how to use it. So this is all torn up. Matter of fact, I guess now that I've filmed it, I can retire it and throw it away. Bye-bye. Thank you, little envelope. So, and also in using up scrap paper, I realized that, and painted paper, that I have a couple of punches, not a lot, but somewhere I have this punch. I can even punch out um, pieces and later on make embellishments. If you'd like to see that, I'm going to try to do that um, later on this summer, or probably at the end of the summer. Let's set that aside. So here are the envelopes I've made. This one is um, done out of the painted paper, which was rescue paper. <laughs> and I think it makes a real cute little envelope. This was some scrap paper that I knew for sure I didn't like because it had canoes on it and oars and it's kind of dark in color, so I wasn't crazy about that one. But it makes the cutest little envelopes. So as I said, I created my own little template. And I took the little template. Can't see on that one. Let me see. I took the little template, just laid it down, traced it. After tracing it, I just grabbed a pair of scissors. I said maybe later on because I do have a electronic um, die cutter that 
I should scan it in and have my die cutting machines and I have two of those so I bought one a newer one because the old one was getting old and it was still working but there were lots of new things you could do on the newer one but I have been such a slave <laughs> to my old one that the new one has now sat in a box in the closet for two years and that's not good I need to use it up so after I cut this out I found an, another piece of scrap paper that was laying around and I took a bone I just saw it here okay <laughs> I took uh, my bone folder let me adjust that some. I took my bone folder and I use it to help me line up the points. Uh, so I found the, the corner here and the corner here because I'm going to fold there and I just rubbed it with my bone folder so I got a nice straight line. And I used the other paper for a piece of scrap cardstock as a base underneath because I have this glass plate and that's not going to move and I thought if I have a little something that's going to move then I'll be able to get the impression of my lines okay. I tried trying to line it up on my Martha Stewart um, scoreboard but I couldn't get it lined up straight and so I said the best way to line it up is for me to take my ruler match those two corners and then rub since this was a painted paper some of the no I know what it was I had been shame on me I had been sticking some stuff down so there was some sticky there but now that I, I don't know if you can see that but now those little creases are there and it will fold over like that I can move that out of my way let's see I'm gonna try to make sure I line that up get much on my glass yeah fold that over it matches there let's see okay oh I hear children screaming outside and people applauding they just opened up a new place gate in my mother's complex. The old one was shut down for a couple of years and the children had no place to play and they just built a brand new one. So yeah, so there's my little envelope. And I'm sure now that I've found this nice little um I don't know what I want to call it. Now that I found this nice little way of using up my painted paper and my scrap paper, I'm sure I'm going to have lots of little envelopes. Please, um, if you've gotten this far with and stayed this far with me, please give me a thumbs up, make a comment, and subscribe. I haven't been so good at asking people to do that, but I think I have a, a unique approach to some crafts and it would be great to be able to share it. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Toodaloo. Bye bye.